everybody and welcome back to part two of my print project using the new gel press plate. It is a puzzle piece and in part one you saw me use alcohol inks and stamps on that gel plate to create what we have so far in this background. So in part two we are going to finish this spread in, my, in the journal. And <laughs> I did not mean for this paint that is going in my journal now to be this color. I had forgotten to clean off my brayer after using the alcohol inks and that is why it came out a green color which is not what I wanted at all. So note to yourself, clean your brayers after using them with alcohol inks because it will transfer once you get them wet again with paint. So to cover up the green, I'm going in with a paintbrush and some white paint. I want, I want the background to blend in together, but I also want those puzzle pieces to stand out a little bit. So I am going in with the white paint but being very loose with it I'm not trying to cover everything up but I am going around certain areas of the um, the puzzle piece print part just a little bit more to define it in certain areas and it'll help it stand out a little bit more you can already see some of the puzzle pieces popping against the white And I didn't want to lose all that stamping in the background either. So I found this quote and I printed it off onto just some regular printer paper using my printer. And now I'm going to cut it in strips and just apply it with glue down in my journal. This is a great thing to do if you don't like your handwriting or if you don't want to take too much time to make your quote look fancy. So you can just print it out and cut it out. Or if you have a typewriter, that would be awesome. You could type it out and cut it. So I'm just going around the puzzle piece with a Stabilo All pencil. And then I'll take some water and it kind of gives it like a little bit of shadow. And that girl that you see in my left hand that is something that I drew myself and scanned it into my printer and I have it ready and available to print whenever I want to use it in a journal. bit more of white paint and adding some acrylic glaze just to get the paint a little more thinned out and fluid and a little more 
workable for a longer period of time. And I'm just creating a bit of a, I don't know if you want to call it a halo. <laughs> it's not meant as a halo, but I just want a little bit of white space around the figure because to me with the puzzle pieces popping against the page and then her being on top of those puzzle pieces it just felt like it was competing a little bit so I wanted to push the puzzle pieces back a little further but if I used just the pure paint without the glaze added it would have really covered up the puzzle pieces and I still wanted them to be visible I just wanted them a little bit more faint around her head so she could stand out a little bit more as well. I'm just using some gel medium to adhere her down to my journal. And that is just a rubber spatula, a kitchen utensil <laughs> that I am using to glue her down. And with it being clear gel medium, I'm not worried about getting it onto my journal page anywhere because it will dry clear and I can write over it no problem. I'm doing the same on the left hand side to put down my quote. Now we'll go around the quote with a Stabilo All Pencil and wet it like I did with the puzzle pieces. It just helps the quote stand out a little bit more. And the quote reads, Life isn't about finding pieces of a puzzle. It's about creating and putting those exceptional pieces together. I thought the quote was beautiful. And the same idea as I did with the person, I'm just applying some of that white diluted paint around the quote as well. So the quote can stand out a little bit more from the puzzle pieces in the background. I thought the background needed a little bit more, so I'm going in with some quinacridone nickel azel gold, and I'm watering it down a little bit and giving some splashes on my journal pages. And I thought the border like not so much the border, but 
I guess you could call it a border, but I felt the pages needed to be framed in a little bit more, and I don't know, it just felt a bit too stark with it being so white along the edges. So I'm going in with some Distress Crayons and just rubbing it around the edges to grunge it up just a little bit. You know me, I don't like anything too pristine, too clean. I like it grungy and just the blended colors look great. So that is it for my journal spread using the new Gel Press Puzzle Piece Plate. I do hope you enjoy it and find uses for your puzzle piece. Have fun. Bye.